Hey, good morning. It's uh zero dark thirty or O dark thirty. Uh O for oh shit, it's early. Not really too early. It's like uh, a little after seven. But I'm usually not up this early. So usually it's because of travel. But not today. Today we're going out to Clark and we're actually going on the Clark Air Base part. Uh, Philippines Clark Air Base now and uh, going to see Rock Aff. If you're not familiar with Rock Aff, that's the Republic of Korea Air Force and they're doing a air show this morning and uh, when they were flying overhead practicing they were flying right right over the house. Um, they look like F-16s but they're actually not. They're T-50Bs demonstration team it's called the uh, black eagles so you had to register online and uh, they had limited slots for the uh, seating areas and uh, they did this is the third day that they're doing the show it's basically in celebration of uh, 75 years of ties between the Philippine military and the South Korean military so bring you along let's go check out some aircraft uh, it's a little overcast you can see behind me the sun's trying to break through uh, yesterday show was supposed to be like 325 takeoff or start not sure what time you know they do a little bit little bit of stuff on the ground I'm sure um, similar to the US demonstration teams like Thunderbirds and Blue Angels but uh, they didn't fly around the house till like well after 4.30, so it could have been, yesterday was cloudy as well, could have been uh, a low ceiling maybe, and they wanted to have the clouds break up a little, I'm not sure, but yeah, that's today's video, maybe we'll throw something else in there as well, but uh, thanks for joining us, and let's go check out these uh T-50B aircraft. Little traffic on Clark Air Base this morning. It's usually pretty quiet here on the base, but when you got an air show. So they had limited slots. They had like three, three or four seating areas, like 100, 200, 300 in each of the areas. <coughs> but today for the last day, I think maybe because uh, it wasn't well advertised. I just happened to look it up when I uh, had all those planes flying over our damn house. So looked it up online, found out about it. But uh, might not have had a great turnout the first couple days. So today they opened it up for 4,000 walk-ins. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> all right, this is Clark Air Base near the flight line. We don't get to come down here. This is uh, always off limits in normal times. So this is kind of cool getting to come down here. We going out to the uh, flight line area, taxiway. Let's see if we recognize anything there, man. It's like hangers. Our old hangar that we used to work at collapsed from the volcanic ash see what uh, other hangers are down here I don't remember any building numbers my memory's shot <laughs> get some uh, PATH vehicles over here Philippine Air Force all right like I mentioned my memory shit here's a uh, little welcome Clark Air Base FedEx hangar I want to say our hangar was in this area over here there's a tower small tower there 
and this is the other end. So any of you old uh, Clark people comment, there's a hanger here, and here's the uh, T-50Bs, Black Eagle demonstration team. pretty cool having this access because like I said uh, normally you can't come out there maybe maybe if you knew somebody Philippine Air Force might be able to get you out out, out in this area but uh, you can't drive in any of these areas if they're all this part of the Freeport zone this is the Bayside path Philippine Air Force this is this is all blocked off normally uh, with gate guards and, and stuff so it's kind of a, a neat Need occurrence being able to come out here. Down here, man, they got a uh, couple of helicopters there in the hangar. Philippine Air Force being worked on. Over there, a bunch of age aerospace ground equipment being stored in that, that little preventment hangar over there. If I haven't mentioned before, these are the Black Eagles. When they're flying around, because of the tail and because of the bottom of them, even the wingspan, they look like F-16s when they're overhead, but they're T-50Bs. Ah. All right, see now they just opened up the floodgates. A lot of people, not too bad. Avionics Maintenance Squadron 7648 building. Pretty cool to go on there. 
flight line and see that show. Pretty good pilots. Pretty good demonstration. I don't know how well it got captured in the video. I'll try to zoom in on some stuff. Got some pictures. We'll see how those come out. Figured I'd get some dormitory numbers for these old school barracks. But I don't see no numbers. But this part right here, you usually can't access here. You see right here is a uh, guard shack. So this part of the base is normally not accessible. Or the part of the Freeport zone, I should say. Right there, 7517. All right, after a uh, Korean Air Force air show, head over to Boom Chicken for some Korean fried chicken. That sounds like a plan to me. Let's go inside here. I've got a video on here before, but we'll show you again. Best fried chicken in Angel City. Uh, here's the menu at Boom Chicken, man. Just go over it quick, man. You got a uh, drumsticks, wings. This is what we ordered, boneless breast meat. Spicy sweet. I never had Korean fried chicken, man. It's super crunchy, really good flavors. Uh, the garlic is good. Hot spicy is good, but at lunchtime, man, it's a little little much as far as spice. It's actually pretty spicy. We ordered some uh, spicy sweet. I'll show you that here when it comes out. Spicy sweet chicken, breast meat, uh, some kimchi, some dumplings, and a pitcher of iced tea. Alright, when you eat here at Boom Chicken, these, this is traditional, come with it. Uh, this is daikon radish, really good, sweet and uh, sour a little bit. This is good, it's like the Kang Kong, some peppers, onions, really good. And then kind of like a coleslaw. I'll show you the rest of the food here in a bit. Forgot that some egg comes with it as well. Alright, this is the sweet and spicy chicken bread. Kimchi. Spicy. Mandu or dumplings. Ready? Let's eat. Sweet spicy is uh, spicy enough. Got good good heat to it. The uh, hot spicy. Good with a beer, but lunchtime, too much heat. Alright, a lot of empty plates. Means good food. Boom chicken, it's called boom appropriately. It's the bomb or it's on fire. Good stuff, total price, 770 pesos for the conversion right there. Boom chicken, highly recommend. All right, good air show. How it comes out on video, we'll see. <laughs> see when I get home start editing this thing uh, pictures my Sony a6000 for photos is uh, not really made for that kind of sport photography I do have a zoom lens but man sometimes it was just focusing on clouds and it was hard to tell where the hell the aircraft were so we'll see how those photos come out well worth getting up early today and going out to this show um, I think it was a little more crowded today just because they opened it up to the walk-ins today which was cool more people uh, can experience it I think I got some really good shots of the aircraft obviously on the ground with the ground crew and stuff so that should look pretty good but overall man pretty impressed man they, those things uh, those t-50s can can uh, haul some butt man. and uh, pilots pretty skilled man they did some pretty good demonstration uh, it's not Thunderbirds, it's not uh, Blue Angels, but for over here in uh, Asia, man, pretty pretty damn good show. So, hope you guys uh, enjoy this video. Appreciate you guys watching as always. Appreciate our subscribers. Uh, next video will be in Taiwan, so going to stick to the one, once a week schedule. Same time as always, Sunday night in the States, Monday morning here in the Philippines. Um, so... Again, appreciate you guys watching and uh, see you on the next video. Stay tuned.